Hey, welcome to this video. You arrived here. You're probably searching for a review of Signa work from home. So I'll go over how it works. I'll give you my two cents, whether I think this is a good use of your time. And if you like my free training on the number one simplest, fastest way to earn a full-time income from home, you can click the link below. You'll see my email opt-in page. Enter your best email. I could send you my free training if you want. Signa work from home. Let's dive in. Uh, so Signa, if you didn't know, is a healthcare uh, insurance company. They were founded in 1982 and headquartered in Connecticut. Uh, they do over $180 billion a year in revenue. That's right. Um, and they have a pretty decent reputation with their employees. So, you know, 3.6 stars on Indeed, 3.7 stars on Glassdoor. And you can see uh, the benefits they offer. Um, so 18 days paid time off starting out, which is pretty amazing. Um, and uh, 401k uh, contribution, uh, you know, medical, dental, vision, all that good stuff. And um, now to navigate on this website to find work from home jobs is pretty simple. You just go to search, a blue button, and then you'll want to select uh, remote only. And you can see there's a list of 406 jobs. It took me a while to go through all these. I went through all of them. I found um, five of the best ones. I think are the best ones for be for that are fairly entry level, and they're also uh, remote jobs as well. And they're available in lots of different states. So uh, the first one is the customer service intake representative, and and. Uh, this is your standard call center type job, right? They pay 17 to $19 an hour. Uh, you must be available between 7 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. I'm not sure what that means exactly, but that you'll be taking uh, inbound calls, 100 and 125 inbound calls uh, per eight hour shift. It's quite a lot. Um, eight weeks, you do get eight weeks of paid training. And, um, but you don't need any special credentials or, you know, skills. So this is, this is definitely an entry level job. You know, you just need a high school degree or a GED uh, or equivalent. And it would be nice if you had some customer service experience, um, whether that's working in retail or as a barista, it doesn't really seem to matter. Um, but yeah, you're going to have to be comfortable answering the phones. Uh, non-stop for eight hours. That's the only thing. So uh, the next one, oh, actually the next one I was going to review was another customer service uh, job that was very similar to this one. It also paid 17 to $19 or, or 17 to $18 an hour, excuse me. Um, but, um, uh, but it actually got snatched up um, between the time I re did my research this morning and now it just got snatched up. So these jobs do get snatched up quickly. It's not just people telling you this, they, they really do. So you, if you see something that interests you, just go for it. Now, um, and also with this job, I mean, you should be comfortable multi um, multitasking, going back between multiple screens and, and, and that sort of thing. If you've ever worked a call center type job, you'll, you'll, you'll know what this, what it, this entails. Um, now, the next one is a brand traffic and asset uh, specialist. You'd essentially be helping um, to promote Cigna um, and develop effective uh, brand strategies. So it doesn't require as much phone work as the, the customer service type of job, uh, but you'd still be responsible for outreach and promoting efforts. So you do need to be comfortable with that. Um, and they're looking for someone who has at least two years of related experience. And um, so that could be, you know, ideally more like four, uh, they say. But so that could be anything like, um, so related experience, that's quite broad. So, um, so yeah, anything related to branding, I guess, or marketing. But um, they don't state the wage or salary on here. Um, but if you Google the average uh, brand specialist in the United States, they make around $60,000 a year, which is no joke if you could make close to that working from home, right? And there's, again, there's no special education or credentials required for this one. They're just looking for someone who's experienced. Now, these next two jobs will require, they are looking for someone who's a, a current contractor with Cigna. 
uh, Cigna. So just be aware of that. So the, this one is case management analyst. And uh, you'd be reviewing health benefits claims from people, uh, you know, who need higher level of care. Um, this one does require strong research skills, interpersonal skills, and they do require at least a bachelor's uh, degree and one year of experience. Um, as far as the pay, they say they're offering, they're, they're considering $23 to $34 an hour. So that's quite a large range, right? Um, they say it'll depend on your geography and experience. Um, usually when they give you a range, you can expect on the lower end of that. So maybe, you know, $23.50 or something like that. But there's always room for negotiation, right? Uh, maybe not, not not necessarily negotiate an increase in salary, but you could try negotiating, you know, more time off or, you know, other, other perks as well. So um, now the next one is the enrollment and billing representative. I was going to say specialist. So this is a bookkeeping job. Um, basically, so it'd be processing payments, resolving credit balances, assisting with month end reconciliation. And they are looking for someone with at least one year of accounts receivable experience um, and some knowledge of Medicare. Uh, I pay 17 to $22 an hour. Um, and so, so this one's nice and that it doesn't require a, that much phone work, right? It's mostly just, you know, you know, entering data, you know, pulling up data, a bookkeeping job, right? Now, the last one is interesting. It's Tableau Developer Lead Analyst. Um, Tableau is a data visualization tool, software, that allow you to create all sorts of different uh, pie charts, bar charts, scatter, scatter plots. Um, so you do need to, to be kind of an expert on uh, Tableau, developing Tableau sheets and dashboards, however. And this one pays really, really well. It pays $72,100 to $120,100 a year. Um, they, don't, they don't have any specific requirements. You just need to be pretty good at Tableau, I guess. So maybe this is something you could self-teach yourself. Um, you know, I don't know. But, but they, don't, they don't say you don't need a specific degree or experience from what I can tell. You just need to be, understand Tableau. So, um, so yeah, that's a, that's an interesting one. So I gave you five options right there. These listings do change quite frequently. Um, so if you can't find something now that interests you that or that, that you won't qualify for, maybe check back in a couple of weeks. You never know, right? So that's it kind of it. Um, but look, maybe you're here not necessarily because you want just a work from home job. Maybe you're just looking for a simple, fast, reliable, beginner-friendly way uh, to earn a very nice income from home. Uh, if that's the case, what I suggest is click the link below. You'll see my email opt-in page. Enter your best email. I can send you my free training that'll detail the simplest and fastest way to earn a full-time income from home without necessarily having a boss or having having to work, you know, a nine-to-five job. And that's it. So hope you enjoyed this review because while these sort of while these jobs are nice and that you get to work from home, there's still jobs at the end of the day, right? You're, you still have a boss. You still have to deliver projects, hit your metrics every day. And so, so it just depends what you're looking for. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you on the other side of that link and I hope you have a great day. Bye.